Last year we did some experiments on um, the colour for our ceiling. Um, we knew that it was going to be ash-faced ply, which is a very pale um, face uh, on the ply. And to keep as much of the light as we could inside the boat, um, we wanted to go for uh, a white ceiling but at the same time maintain some of the grain and as you can see you can see the grain through it and um, it looks quite nice I think anyway um, but how we got there uh, we'll show you in this video um, just bear in mind this was done round about spring last year so uh, things do look a bit different than they, they do at the moment. The boat was very much in its bare form, but we thought you might be interested to see how we got here. Okay, um, that's it. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice so, are you standing in the <laughs> That's it, done now. <laughs> when we were cutting to fix the engine bay, we very stupidly cut on the face side and therefore we have lots of kind of grease marks on the jigsaw. And we thought we would use this as um, some somewhere in the boat but that was probably a bit more concealed. But because we need to do a tester on this wood stain that we're going to be using, and we are using a, a white um, water-based wood stain for the above the gunnel and for the ceiling on the ash face ply, um, we thought this would be perfect. You apply the stain with a brush or a roller, and then you wipe it off with um, a rag. That means that you've not got so much um, stain because it's a stain, it's not a paint um, or a varnish. But you've got enough of it that it colours it um, and you are putting it on as evenly as possible. And when we looked on the website for the actual product, which is a German um, environmentally friendly, low, um, low OCs, uh, wood stain, and um, it said, use a roller. Use a brush, but use a roller too. So before we apply the stain, we need to lightly sand the wood so that it gives it a key to um, be able to kind of um, adhere to, to stick onto. And um, so that's what I'm going to do now. So this is a 320 grit, it's very fine sand, and it really is just a bit of a light sanding. this with the roller. Martin is then going to wipe the rest of the stain off so any excess of the stain will get wiped off. Working with stains is you shouldn't um, let the thing dry and then come along and do more afterward or you'll end up with weird blotchy marks. You know like when you've emulsioned the ceiling or the wall and it's no, you've got kind of weird cheeky mark. Okay. Yeah, she'll go. I like it. Is it white enough? Well, what might happen is you know how pale it is anyway without yeah. anything on it but when we varnish it rather than it coming up and being a bit yellower it might just stay a little bit a bit Watching. whiter yeah but is it white enough to, for that to happen well have i put enough on i don't know what I'm saying. i don't know that's the thing should we another bit of that ply there 
Or, or another piece so we can just compare it. Oh yeah, you can see actually, you can see that it's whiter. Yeah. But I do think maybe we should put a bit more on. Okay. okay, so it's not a matter of me putting two coats on, I think it's just a matter of me putting more on. More on, yeah. Yeah, that's considerably different, isn't it now? The roller was good, but it felt like it wasn't going off very evenly, so um, for me it felt like that. Um, so I'm just going to have a go with the brush, see what that does. Does that feel like it's going on better? Feels like it's, I don't know, so far it feels like it's going on better. And I think it will be a, a trickier way of doing it, because it feels like it's also setting very quickly. It does seem to dry very quickly and I wonder if it's because it's a warm day. The nice thing about this stuff is that you put it, you know, when you, once you put it on, you don't have to sort of worry too much about the brush marks or the roller marks because you're taking it off as well. Just a little bit more down there. A little bit more there? Yeah, that's good. Have we got enough on the edges here? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. So Martin's just working it right into the grain. And he will end up taking quite a lot of the stain off. But that's not a problem. I'm taking, probably taking a bit more off, I don't know. Yeah. But I think what also we need to do is uh, Compare the, the, the other piece with this and see what it's like. Yeah, but that's what had two coats to it. They don't look much different. No. I think the top one has probably a little bit more white on it. It's also a little bit drier. But I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but we as you're doing the light, we're pointing. you can see sort of streaks and things. But is that because it was put on twice? I don't know. But this looks really nice from here. I think I'm going to go with a brush, Martin. Yeah, you seem to be more confident with a brush. Huh? It's difficult to see a proper comparison. But there's something there. Well, if you look through here. Yeah. God, my God, that looks so different. Okay, 
quite nice. Do you think? Yeah, you can see the difference. Just have to see what it's. Are we? <coughs> we'll just have to see what it's like with the. Um, when we put some varnish on, but are we testing it first, or are we just going for it? Mm. I'm doing the varnish jig. Varnishing again. So what I'm going to do is varnish this little bit of wood that we tested yesterday to see what it's like because we want it to, you know, to have whiteness to the um, plywood for the ceiling. I'm a gibbering. I'm gibbering now, aren't I? Anyway, oh my work. that's what I'm doing. So what we're now doing is testing um, what happens when you dilute the wood stain with a varnish. Um, we have, in this little pot, tested one to one. So one spoonful of um, wood stain, white wood stain, to one spoonful of varnish. These are both water-based products. Um, before. So the varnish is clear, the wood stain is white. That's what the varnish looks like. That's what the wood stain, wood stained wood on its own looks like. So we're trying to see what happens now if we mix the two to cut down on the time it takes to do it. And especially because we're working on such a large surface area. This is not the surface area, these big plank, the, the big ply boards are. Um, so we thought we'd try, see if there was a better way of applying a lighter stain so that it's more white than this um, quickly, more quickly. So what we've come up with is the mixing of the two, which is perfectly acceptable, both tin and tin says yes, we can do this. So we've done one to one, which gives us this. I don't know if you can see it. You can just kind of about see the difference. Even after we've done this, we will need to give it a second coat of varnish because it's in a boat environment, it needs to be as waterproofed as possible. But in the minute, this is what we're going for. And so now, I'm gonna do two white to one varnish. Um, in proper Blue Peter style, uh, I have a pot, a plastic spoon. This is not scientific in any way, shape or form. And I'm hoping that I can get Hoping it works. Might not work. Um, and I am hoping that I can, you know, make sure that I get the right ratios when I come to do the bigger expanse. I think that's going to be the trickier bit. So two white. One. As I say, it's not scientific. It's not exact. So that's two white stains. That's a bit mad, but to one big fat varnish. To one varnish. I need to make sure that I am mixing it well. I'm going to try and do a little sample here. is just create a paint. It still needs to be a stain and a varnish, so it still needs to show the grain through. Because if I'd have wanted it to be a paint, I'd have bought paint. Oh, that sounded really grumpy, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think the trick is to make sure I don't wipe it off when I'm putting it on. Yeah. So this is one part white stain and one part varnish, this varnish. And applied 
quite gently, uh, not too thick, not too thin so that it ends up looking dry. Ignore any bits on it, this is a test sample. So after lots and lots of overthinking, and like an amazing amount of overthinking, we um, have gone for the one-to-one -one, <laughs> for the one to one ratio um, and we're just going to overpaint the uh, panels that we've got um, because it makes it just that nice little bit of white but not so much white and yeah have we how are we doing so martin's doing lots of shaking of the can we basically just the half can that we had here here so that was half a can of white stain left and we um worked out the ratio using chopsticks and um oh. the old ones are the best mm -hmm. yeah they're not so we worked out the ratio using chopsticks because that's how you work out paint ratios apparently <laughs> and um um yeah hopefully it works about staining this is about waterproofing. I can't bloody see a thing. Whatever happened would have happened anyway. Or so you say. Blinded by your beauty. The kind of things you're doing to me. Dazzled by the sunlight. Shadows where I'm feeling alright You really are amazing